Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MXGP3 here on this channel. Now in today's episode we've got the last race of Season 1 but we're not fighting for the title this season because we came into it late but I want you at the end of the video to vote for what team and rider we go for for Season 2 and we're going to challenge for the title. So let's get straight to this episode. Also guys I've decided to use the Honda in this race. Now I haven't used this bike yet so hopefully it'll be a good one for this finale. So let's get straight into this race so here we go. Right, it looks like we're going to have to go on another lap. We're really struggling around this circuit. Now, they've made some real good improvements to Glen Helen, but it's still one of the hardest circuits on the tour, and it's a fitting end to the season. It's just a shame that we came into the MXGP season late. We're not, oh God, almost came off then. We're not uh, challenging for the title. It's all between uh, Kai Rowley and Geyser. Uh, there's about three points between the two. So who's going to win the championship after this couple of races in today's episode? Um, I'm putting my money on Geyser because he's a little bit more consistent, but then you wouldn't put it past Kai Rowley to put in a performance. We're just going to uh, have to see. Also, I'm not sure what sort of performance I'm going to uh, have effect on those results. Am I going to be able to get some results in this race? I've got no idea. But also, guys, um, at the end of the video, I want you to start voting for the Season 2 where we're going to challenge in this MX GP season. Now, we want to become the champion in the MXGP series. So uh, let me know in the comments below what uh, team you want us to go with, whether you want us to go with a custom team uh, or an official team, and what to bike. It's all down to you, so the winning votes will be where I start in season two. And I'll tell you what, guys, what I'm gonna do for season two, I'm gonna change some of the options um, with like the amount of laps and stuff like that, but I will talk to you about that in that episode. First up, I just want you to start voting. But uh, let's see if we can just better our time. I mean, we've only got 13 at the moment. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, we're not challenging for the title, but it would be nice to just see if we can challenge around Glen Helen. Now, I've done a couple of uh, online races around uh, here, and I'll tell you what, I have not got any decent results. I've struggled. It definitely is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I mean, I used to be okay. Oh, God, my numbers thing. I used to be okay around here on MXGP2, but this one seems a little bit harder. Right, I think, oh, fifth, I'll take that, guys. I don't think I'm going to go any quicker. I'm going to take that. Let's just get to the end of the session. Right, guys, let's get straight into the race. We got fifth. It wasn't the greatest. Uh, Tim Geyser leads the line. Let's just get straight into this first race and see if we can get a decent result. Right, so here we go with the first race. Let's see if we can get a good start here. And uh, I'm predicting that I'm not going to come in the top three in either of these races. There's so many areas where I'm struggling. Uh, and I'm not feeling this Honda. It's definitely not one of the best bikes I've been on. But uh, let's see if we can get a good start. Ooh, wasn't too bad. Just opened the clutch a little bit too early. But we still managed to get away okay. Right into that first turn. Tim Geyser gets the whole shot. No surprise there. Roma Febra, which was second in the qualifying session, I think. Oh, God, really tough into that turn. Went side by side with Febra there. And I've just caught up with Tim Geyser. I've just got in, into the lead. Oh, this isn't a bad start. Now, I wasn't expecting to do that. But uh, let's just be careful. Oh, I hate this corner. It can be really tough. Oh, got a good drive out there. So that wasn't too bad. And we've managed to get a good momentum up the hill. Now, I find if you have any crashes or you lose momentum at the bottom of the hill, you're screwed. You're absolutely screwed. You can't catch up. You're really slow up the hill and you can just rack it up and down the gears, but you still can't seem to get the drive. I don't know what this circuit would be like in the wet. I'm, I'm glad it's not raining in today's race because I think with rain, this could be really, really difficult because it would be really boggy and uh, I just couldn't see us getting a decent result. Right, we're managing to hold a decent, huge air through there. 
right to slow it down into this section. Oh, God, almost went off circuit there, but managed to put it around. And we just managed to... Oh, Roman Febris just crashed off, so that's not good for him. Right, let's just try and hold it. Now, he was the uh, person that used to give me the most grief in the races on MXGP2. Not so much... He, in, in it to, in this season but he might be back in it on the second season but it's all down to you where do we start what team official team custom team also give me an idea on the um on the if i go for the custom team on the uh, designs as well guys i want you to have as much uh, part of the season as possible plus oh uh, guys i will be doing some more online streams on this game as well because it was really positive in the last one so if you want to join be online let me know in the comments below right not too bad over there and we go into the second lap still leading which is so surprising uh, but uh, guys is closing in on me so i'm expecting him to catch up a uh, very very soon oh god when it's all got almost went straight into the board there just not paying attention just hold it here he comes i knew he'd come at some point catch me up and uh, we're just gonna have to be good around this turn and drive it down the hill now should go on the outside or the inside bugger it go for the inside although that oh god just managed to get a good drive out there sometimes i break into there and sometimes that works out even worse for me because then a rider comes in behind behind, behind me and plows me off and that happened in the qualifying session quite a few times so um i was trying to ride my laps as much as i could on my own i did, just wasn't uh, the sort of circuit that i want to be uh, going against other riders i was just finding that they were just taking me off in the corner is it again? Got a little bit wider there, but uh, we're still holding the lead in this first race, so um, I'm doing okay. But just whether it stays like that into the final lap, and again get huge airtime over that jump. That's an awesome jump, that is. Right, so let's just be a little bit careful. That's better. Slowed it down into the turn that time. Make sure I didn't go out of circuit, and I can just see him slowly slowly closing in on me and he's probably definitely want to get uh, as many points as he can because he's going to obviously want to win the championship i don't know where the hell kai Rowley is and whether he's close behind i mean he doesn't want to lose too many points in the first race otherwise he's not going to be able to uh, win the championship today it can be between two riders and that's what makes it so exciting it's a shame that i'm just not a part of it i mean we left uh, the um, mx2 because we were absolutely flying it oh god he's come around that corner really fast he's taking the lead i wasn't expecting that and guys is into the lead in this race oh my dear lord he came around that corner like a bullet right we've got to try and react can we catch him up um still not uh, sure where kairoli is but um, i'm pretty sure he's going to be close and if these two come in the top five, I think it's going to go down to that last race and the, the whole title and championship being on one race, that was, that could be really exciting, especially if we could have a say in it. Right, so let's just try and hold it down there. He's got a good line there. He's gone on the outside. We'll take the inside. Oh, God, we managed to get a good drive around there and we've taken the lead. You've got to get a good momentum out of that jump um, up that hill because otherwise you're screwed. Right, so don't lose it. I find if you catch that corner there, you always get reset. That happens to me a lot when I raced online. I had to learn very quickly about that. Right, let's just try and take a tight line around here. Just try and keep it nice and smooth. Try not to overdo it. Just keep Yep, that's not too bad through there. So we're managing to hold it. But uh, guys, is really, really pushing here. He definitely wants to get this win and get 25 points on the board. And then he's all he can just settle a little bit into the second race and just finish in front of Kyro. It would be his only plan. He doesn't have to worry about anything else. Right. Let's just try and just keep it nice and steady through here. Coming towards the end of the circuit. This is where I struggle. God made a mistake there. And there, uh, and he's. I can hear. I can hear, guys. He's right behind. It's going to be just a fight to the finish line. Don't make a mistake. Oh, it looks like we're going to win. Unbelievable. We take a win in the first race. Now that is really unexpected, considering how poor I was in qualifying. I will take it all day long. Right, so we take a win in the first race. A geyser came second and Kai Rowley came eighth. So, oh, that's a really poor position. He's really got to up his game in the second race. And guys, has got to finish quite low down for him to win this championship. It's all going to go down to that last race. So let's just get straight into it and see who becomes the champion. So here we go. What a surprise. It had to rain on the final race of season one. Thank you very much, game. I knew you were going to do this to me. Now I'm expecting this race to be extremely tough. 
I'm no good in the, on this circuit as it is, let known in the wet, but that wasn't a bad start. But there they go, Kai Rowley's really got a push in this one, and he's got a hope that Tim Geyser come from really, really low down for him to win the championship. And Kai Rowley's gone out in front, and he's got the whole shot, but let's just try and get in the inside of him there. And I tried to take the lead, but I couldn't get a better drive than him up the hill, and he's back into the lead. But uh, he's definitely going for it. He knows he needs to get to maximum points in this race. But we could put a stop to that if we could just... Oh, God, I mugged him in that corner. Oh, God, that was lucky. Normally, when you go around there with another rider, you end up getting taken out. But I managed to do it. But again, he's better than me up the hill. I really can't seem to get a decent drive up there. And, oh, God, I've just lost uh, the um, second place to do the sale. And I've just got to try and take it back if I just get in the inside here. Just try and hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes, we're back into P2. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Kai Rally's going to be uh, really on it. And all comes here comes Roman Vebras, and we've lost another place. We're not doing so well. Uh, but at least the rain has stopped. As long as it doesn't come back, we shall know. As I say that, it's starting to rain again. It's just going to be one of those races where I'm just going to have to try and just push as much as I can. But Kai Road is really pulling away. He was nowhere to be seen in that first race. Uh, and obviously, and oh, God, bloody hell, Roman. What the flipping hell? And our oh, Tim Geis has crashed. What the hell's going on here? This could be Kai Road's day if he carries on in, in this form of this race and Geis finishes really low down in the order. Then Kai Road become the champion. Oh my god, this is just ripping stuff. Oh, Kai Rowley's crashed! Oh my god, Kai Rowley's crashed! Quick, take advantage of it! Oh my god, just when I was talking about how Kai Rowley might win the championship, he's got him crashed and I've taken the lead. Right, let's just try not to crash myself. I hate that section. Uh, the rain is still falling, but not too hard. So let's just try and get into the second lap and try and settle down a bit. Just trying to find it a little bit harder up the hills, obviously to get the traction. But it's, it's going to get really boggy in this uh, last couple of laps. And again, just, oh, I was, just, I'm just steering into that turn and I've gone really wide. Lucky I didn't hit the board there. Right, let's just drive, drive it up this hill, hold the lead. I think Cairo is just behind me, so I'm just going to have to be aware that he's going to come flying in the inside at some point. Oh no, is that Roman Febra that's behind me? No, it's not high road. Right, just slow it down into that turn and just try to keep it nice and steady. Just trying to be careful now. There's no need for me to go too mad. At the end of the day, I don't really need to win this, but it'd be nice if we could win both races, considering how bad we were in qualifying. And we managed just to put away a little bit. That's awesome on this second lap. Let's just try and keep it nice and steady through there. The rain's still falling. Let's just try and get a nice turn. Oh, that's much better through there. So we're starting to make improvements. We're starting to get a little bit better on this circuit, which is positive. And just keep it nice and steady through here. I'm coming towards the end of this second lap, and hopefully we can go into that last lap and just push a little bit more. Right, keep it nice and steady around that turn. That wasn't too bad. And uh, I just sort of bike quite close behind. They're starting to gain on me as I'm going a little bit too slow on this second lap. So they're probably going to gain on me through here. I really struggle through this section. I always uh, don't know which lane to go in. I always go on the wider one, but sometimes that does not always work out for me. But that wasn't too bad. And we've managed to get through there. We go into the final lap of the race and the final lap of season one. Who is going to be become the champion of this season at this moment in time i think it's going to be tim geyser because i think kai Rowley really needs to win this race and geyser needs to finish quite low down and at this moment in time i'm sitting pretty in the lead and he's not going to get those 25 points that he's so he really needs him really really needs him right it is kai Rowley that's just behind me so He's managed to recover from his crash uh, going into that second lap. That was a bit of an, uh, a surprise for him, but let's just try and hold into this turn. And we're still holding that lead, but he is gaining on me. I can hear him, and uh, we've just got to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Not too bad through here. Right, should we go on the outside? No, that's going inside. Oh, God, I slowed down a bit too much there. Oh, that's going to cost me. And no, Kai Rowley didn't get around there too quick, so we're still okay. But we're slowing down, going towards the top of the hill. Oh, no, there comes Kai Rowley. I knew I'd done it there. But just try and hold that inside and just try and drive down the hill. And he's taking the lead. 
but hopefully we should get back past him. But uh, let's just try and hold it through here. Damn, gone on the outside. That's going to slow us down. And he's got a good drive up the hill. Oh, God, this is where it all goes wrong. The rain is absolutely tipped down now. And I'm not getting much traction through there. And he's going to probably push it to the end now. But he could still make a mistake. So let's just try and stick behind him as close as possible. And try and pressurise him. But it looks like he's definitely going to push for that win. And put himself in a good position. And it'll just be down to where guys are finished. Whether he wins the championship. So it's all going to down to these last few corners. He's got really wide there. Can I take advantage? No, I couldn't get into there. Pretty quick. These two corners are too too tight and really hard to get drive out of especially with this boggy weather right let's just try and hold it around here no it looks like Kai Rowley's going to take the win unbelievable there you go Kai Rowley wins I come second but where did Tim Geyser finish that is the question who is the champion we're just about to find out Right, so Kai Rowley got his win, but uh, Geyser came sixth, guys. So that uh, is going to put the championship really close. Who's going to be the champion? We're just about to find out. And it's Tim Geyser. He won it by two points. Can you believe that? Oh, God, Kai Rowley is probably distraught. If he had done a little bit better in the first race, he would have become the champion. But look how close that was. How close is it going to be in season two when we're involved? That's what we want to find out, guys. And we're just going to get into that now because I do believe it's time for you to vote. Right, guys, now it's time to vote. We're going to do another season and we're going to start from the beginning and work all the way through. But what do I do? Do I go with an official team or do I stay with a custom team? Let me know in the comments below and then we will start that new season. Thank you so much for supporting this series and I will see you very, very soon, guys. Bye-bye.